Frustrated by my failure to catch a giant muskie, I've called on the spirit of Eagle Lake. Oh, yeah, 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 yes, 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 that's a fish. And just when I was least expecting it, my prayers have been answered. But I've got a problem. After endless days of failure, I've switched to lightweight gear, just to catch something small and get back my confidence. I'm worried about the line. This is an incredibly weak line. The beast that's grabbed my bait, however, is no minnow. Ah! It's a massive muskie on six pound line. We're never going to get this in. I'm just going to let that drag go very loose. My line just has to touch a rock, a tooth, or even the gill plate, and it'll snap. We're going to try and get it near the boat. No, it's going down again. Nice little fish. Oh, she's huge. Keep her head down. That's a huge fish. All my hopes are hanging on the slenderest of threads. <laughs> this is the monster from Spirit Rock. It's a big muskie. Six pound line, tiny bait, sacred site, made the tobacco offering. That has to rank as one of the most extraordinary catches of my life. We have got a muskie. I must have made over 13,000 casts, and it's only when I stop trying to catch one that a muskie finally bites. That's the hook. That's the line. Look at that line. It's like cotton. And that was just in the corner of the mouth. That line, well, that's what happens to that line and teeth. That was me, my teeth. It's four feet long and then some. By any standards, a very big muskie. Here we go, fish of 10,000 casts. Big old muskie. So just looking at it, you can tell it's the supreme predator. It just has this attitude problem. It's the absolute top predator of these waters, and it knows it. This fish is a very impressive beast. Back in the water. But just imagine three or four of them at the surface swimming in a tight-knit group. You could be forgiven for thinking you'd seen the lake serpent. I'm actually still trying to take that in. I mean, who would have thought that things would have turned out this way to catch a fish like that in circumstances like this? They did say that this rock was the home of a monster. Turns out they were absolutely right.